Hi guys. So today I'm going to show some more of the July 2019 stamp release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'm going to use these three stamps together. Um, the first one is the Multi-Step Mallard Ducks, which has, it looks like two, three sets of birds. So you have um, the A set, the B set, and then there are some tiny little birds that go in the background. I have the multi-step cattails, um, which has the cattails, um, a smaller set, and then also a dragonfly and a smaller dragonfly, which is pretty cool. And then also the multi-step shoreline rocks. Um, I think I'm going to need some masking paper for this, so I do have some Inka Dinka Doo stamping mask paper, which I believe Kitchen Sink Stamps carries. Um, I have some spare pieces here that should be big enough. I never throw away because every little piece can be used when it comes to masking paper. And then I have a piece of Nina Solar White cut down to five and a quarter by four. We may cut this down for some more, but let's try that. For inks, I will be using a variety of the Altenew uh, mini inks and also the Hero Arts mini inks because they are easily accessible on my desk. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the rock. And this one has the instructions inside the packaging. So it has little notes here for uh, multi-step stamping on how to align them. And then on here, it has the list of the colors and what they used. And for this one, they went backwards to forward. So they went four, three, two, and one. And these are the names of the colored inks they use. These were Memento and VersaFine. So pretty cool that they would do that. And you have your layering guide for what order they're in and also little notch marks here on how to align the stamps. I'm just going to put that aside for now. I'm going to start with the, um, this is all one stamp set too. So I'm going to start with the most solid image and I think I'm going to be able to do this with just a block. I don't think I need my stamp positioner so I don't need a misty or anything like that. So let's put it right there in the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Altenew grays. So we have morning frost, evening gray, moon rock, and lava rock. So I'm going to start with the morning frost, which is the lightest gray. And let me apologize now if the birds start squawking. They were squawking in a video I had posted before and um, it was quite annoying. So I do try to stop the video when that happens, but they're fed and they have water, so they should be pretty happy right now. These are new stamps and I did not condition them so I'm kind of going to have to do double stamping here. Okay, so that's layer number one. Number two is the middle one. I'm going to go in with the next gray, which is evening gray. Actually, no. Let me clean the stamp off quick. Let me condition this. Conditioning it just helps that ink stick um, using some clear Versamark ink here. And I'm just going to stamp it off and now go in with the evening gray. Oh, 
that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Number three, again, going in with the Bursa mark. Just gonna stamp that off to the side. And third color is Moon Rock. Pretty cool, coming together. I mean, that right there looks like rocks. I don't know how much more detail you could add to this. And then the final layer is layer number four. Now I wanna make sure that I position this correctly. So when I doubt which way a stamp goes, I'm gonna put it on its alignment guide here. Then put it on my block and then I know, okay, it goes like, this. So I know I need to line up the center here. Okay, cool. So again, little Bursa mark. Stamp that off. And lava rock. Did I use moon rock or lava rock before? I think I used moon rock, so this is lava rock. If this isn't dark enough, we can go in with some black. stamps away here. And again, you want to try not to stick your stamps to this because it is laser printed. So if you put your stamps on there, it could lift the design. So you want to keep both pieces of your acetate on your stamp set and your layering guide separate. Okay, so that's the rocks. Oh, before I put that away, I want to cut a mask. So I'm going to take the most solid layer, which is layer number one, move this out of the way, and I'm going to ink it up with some morning frost. It really doesn't matter what color you ink it up with. And then just here on my masking paper, I think I can stamp out just enough to give me the outline of the stamp. And don't forget, you can get the kitchen sink stamps SVG files if you wanna cut them out. This is pretty easy, so I don't need to worry about it. Use your electronic die cutter on those. Okay, pretty simple. So my thought was to put the rocks down, put the cat lilies behind it, cattail, sorry, and then stamp the ducks in the sky. Okay, get the backing off. All right. That's how we want the rocks. Okay, now we're gonna move these grays out of the way. Okay, we have some also new greens and browns. We're gonna use these 
cattails. Okay, so looks like there's two sizes, a larger set and a smaller set, A and B. I'll show you guys that real quick. So you can see here is 1A, 2A, 3A, and then 1B, 2B, 3B. Um, here is a dragonfly, 1, 2. Um, here's a dragonfly over here, and a tiny little dragonfly over here, and then here are the actual um, cattails. So we will piece it together and see what we can get here. I'm going to go with the largest one, which is 1A. I'm going to do the same thing with inking it up with the Versamark. Stamping that off. I'm going to go in with my latest green, which is called Tangled Leaf. And I'm just going to put it like it's coming out from behind the rock here. You really want to make sure you get right where that mask is because you don't want that line to show up where the mask is. Okay. Now we want the next layer, which is 2A. color green is forest glades floor yeah florist glades forest glades I can't speak all right again with the bursa mark stamp that off All right, now we have 3A, which is going to be the next darkest green. Hold on. Okay, so going in with layer number three, again with the Versa mark, stamping that off. The next color green is um, evergreen. So now we want to stamp out the cattail. So there is one and two for that. So layer one, I'm gonna get the Alta New Browns out for that. I'm gonna use a mocha for the first layer. And then for the second layer, we're going to use espresso. And 
And now you can hear the parrots talking. Okay, sorry for the little pause there, guys. And now I'm going to remove the masking paper off the rock. And you can see we have these cattails from behind the rocks. Okay, so now we wanna do the duck. And you can see from the image here, there's a couple of different ducks. And again, we have that layering guide. So it's gonna show you here the flying duck with his wings up and then the flying duck with his wings down. And then what else is on here? It looks like, um, yeah, so duck A, duck B, and then some smaller ducks that go in the background. So for this set, or for this image, I think we'll start with the duck that it has his wings down, and then we'll go from there and decide if we wanna add any more. So we want image, um, well, let's just do the wing up, 1A. I'm not gonna do both of them today. I'll make it look like he is taking off. Like that. Okay, and then what do we have for colors here? So it looks like a large brown. Hello, says the parrot. Um, so we're gonna start with some rocky shore. First mark first. This will be a great card for, again, nature lovers, for bird watchers, masculine cards, sympathy cards, thinking of you cards, just hello cards, note cards. Um, if you have anybody in your family that is a duck hunter, um, I had a friend many, many, many moons ago who her father was a uh, duck hunter and um, I remember they had this beautiful Labrador and he couldn't live in the house because it would affect his sense of smell and they didn't want that with him being a duck hunting dog. So, something I learned a long time ago. Okay, so 1A. Alright, then we need 2A, which is another color brown, again with the Versa mark. Next color brown I'm going to use is Mocha. Dark, dark brown. So we're going to use espresso. So far, so good. Layering pretty nicely. Okay, for A, it looks like they use some turquoise. So I have some 
Hero Arts Turquoise. Do the Versa mark again. It's a very juicy ink. Okay. So we're going to fill in this blank spot here and part of the neck. So we want to line that up. Maybe we didn't get his head lined up right there. We'll see if we can come back and correct that. We'll see how how bad the damage is. A lot of times when you do these, um, when you do the next layer, it will cover it up. Okay, so 5A is the next layer, and it is a little bit darker color. So we'll see if we can cover that. Here's another color from Hero Arts. I'm sorry I don't have the names of these, but I know that Hero Arts is starting to put the names on them. Okay, let's try to line this up. Well, for this one, I am going to kind of tilt the stamp a little just to overcompensate for the head there where I didn't stamp it correctly. A little better. Four A, five A, and I thought I saw. Yep, here it is. Six A, which I believe is the final layer for this one. And looks like they did that one in a very dark, almost a navy. So let's have another Hero Arts color. bad for my first time doing that one. I think I could have done a little better with the beak. It's not completely hateful. Um, I think what I'll do just to try to correct it a little. Grabbing some different colors of Copic markers here. All right. There we go. All right. Just to touch it up a little there. He just has a bigger beak. Hey, some of us do. I'm going to dot his eye. Um, let's do the other bird. We're already here. Might as well. Same colors. Go in with rocky shores. And I'm going to stamp this one off a little so it looks like he's just below this bird. So that's stamp 1B. Stamp 2B. We're going to do in mocha. Now this one, the bird is more solid, so it should be a little easier to line up. 
I should have started the, that one. Yeah, much easier to line up. Okay. 3B goes in the darker brown, which is espresso. Too much in a hurry, didn't line that one up exactly. Okay, 4B, they have in the turquoise. Actually, it's more like a darker blue. So yeah, we'll do it in the turquoise. to the end here, 5B. We go in the darker color, turquoise. One final layer here. Okay. That I'm going to do in the navy again. That one definitely did not come out as good as the other one. I think I was too impatient on that one and probably would have been beneficial for me to use my stamp positioning tool on that one instead of trying to rush through it. Um, it does also have, like I said, some smaller birds, which we can put in the background. There's, there's a couple different sets of birds. There's three, there's like a medium bird, and then there's um, two small, small sets of birds. So let me grab the grays again on that. So that's the medium one. And then here's a set of three of them. Very cute. All right, now. For this bird down here that I'm not completely happy with, I am going to re-stamp those darker layers on him in some darker colors. So that's going to be 4B. a little better a little bit better and then I'm going to get the black out for um, 5B Alright, 
so by it not being blue it's it's a little bit more less noticeable that there's some boo-boos in there so it'll just take some practice to do it overall for my first time stamping them I don't think they're too horrendous looking um, yeah I just got to work on lining up that center part there so it's not too too terrible but I wanted to show you guys the new stamps the rock and the cat lilies obviously very easy to do didn't need a stamp positioner for that for the ducks next time I would put them on a stamp positioner but I can put a sentiment over here or like I said cut this down a little bit um, I think for the most part it's 80% okay this little guy down here I might have to put an embellishment over him maybe I'll stamp another cat lily and glue him over it that's what we do when we make mistakes it's just an opportunity for us to embellish it right so I just wanted to show you guys again, these are the new stamps from the July 2019 release from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Um, if you have any questions about anything I use, post them down below. I will link everything for you. And again, from Kitchen Sink Stamps, we use the Shoreline Rocks, the Multi-Step Mallard Ducks, and the Multi-Step Cattails. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep on stamping. Bye-bye.